cute. Damn. Who is she? Is that Rissa? What? What? Wow, I would have good today. Don't I make it feel good? Don't I make it feel good? Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Disney Channel. I'm just playing. It's Rissa's channel, um, Life with Rissa. If you don't know who I am, I'm Clarissa. Nice to meet you. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys for your love, for subscribing. You don't know how much it means to me. So, anyways, I wanted to do a part two of the friendship thing because this is a serious topic. No, I'm just playing. But yes, it's so serious. And I wanted to tell you guys that not having real friends does not have an age limit. And I wanted to share share with you guys an experience that me and my brother went through. And my hair is so annoying. And I don't know how you guys do it with poofy ass hair. Seriously, oh my gosh. So yeah, I wanted to share that experience with you. It was last year. So I'm just going to put the footage here now. Open your eye. That way. <laughs> Let me see your neck. That's what happened to him. Story time. The story behind this. So it was me and my mom and my aunt Erica. We went to my aunt's house. No, I'm just kidding. We went to my grandma's house. We went to my grandma's house and we just go because... I don't know, I think it was a weekend and my little brother had wanted to stay home to play Xbox with his friends. So my mom was like, yeah, you know, just be careful, not be careful, but just, you know, just whatever, mom stuff. So went home and seeing the apartment was destroyed. When I walked in, it was around Christmas time, so our Christmas tree was knocked down. Ornaments were everywhere. The decorations were trashed. I go in my mom's room. There's throw up on my mom's bed. The bathroom's fucked up. It was horrible. And I walk in, I'm like, Poinky, where you at? I remember he had stayed stayed home with two friends. They look like innocent little boys. They didn't look harm they didn't look harmful. They just looked like friends. So, um, I went in, so, I'm thinking he's gone, so I just go in my room, and I see him like that, bloody everywhere, he's, his neck is like, just like from this line and up, it's just all bloody, his eyes were purple, his nose bloody just dripping blood and he's lying there flat on his stomach like that so my first instinct is my brother is fucking dead I didn't want to think like that but you know that's what it looked like so oh so I had went home with my aunt so I drove her home because she was tipsy so I went home with my aunt and um my mom was driving behind us so I was panicking I was like I call him pointy so yeah I was like, Poinky, wake up, wake up. Like, I was crying. I didn't know what to do. I've never experienced anything like that. So I was just trying to wake him up. Two minutes pass on. I'm telling, like, my aunt, like, what do I do? And she's yelling for help. And she's just, you know, she's going crazy with me. So um, I tell my mom, and she's panicking, too. So I was like, call 911. Da, 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 it's an emergency. So while I'm trying to wake, he ended up waking up. Thank God. He ended up waking up, and I was like, what happened to you? So I was questioning him. Of course, you're going to question, you know. So I was questioning him. I was like, did this, did this person do this? And he's like, no. But I knew. I knew that little sucker did it to my brother. Both of those. Both of them did it. And I should call them out on this video, but we let it go. We let the situation go. I'm on the phone with the cops. I'm like, you know, my brother is unconscious. Um... You know, I don't know what's wrong with him. He he smelled like alcohol, so he was drinking. Da -da -da. So the cops take forever to get there. They were like, if it's not that serious, you could you should send. If I don't know, they said whatever. 
they were doing the job, obviously. It was an emergency. He needed to be seen by a doctor. So my mom didn't want to drive him. So they sent an ambulance. The ambulance took him in. They checked him. He was drunk. So I ended up questioning my brother when he was awake. And he was just throwing up at the hospital. It was nasty. So I spent the whole night at the hospital with him. Till like 5 in the morning. He had said that his friends jumped him. Both of his friends jumped him over, I don't know, till this day, I don't know what. My brother said he can't remember. He blacked out. And when I went in my room, there was a charger. My charger. There was a charger. You know those pulls in closets? There's a charger plugged in. I mean, not plugged in, but twisted around the pool like if they wanted to choke him and hang him. So... You can have fake friends. You can have friends that are not real. It doesn't matter the age. It doesn't. My little brother was 13 at the time. My last video I said mainly to middle schoolers. You know what? He was a middle schooler. Sorry. But it doesn't matter what age. Just... To my young ones, please know who you're hanging around with. Know who your friends are because that was a, a very traumatic experience that we went through. So, and I don't, my brother could have been dead. Those little boys could have been in jail. The cops didn't do shit. The cops, we knew where they lived. We knew everything. They didn't do anything. So I want to take matters in my own hands. But I'll get in trouble. I didn't want to go back and forth with the situation. Guys, just be careful. It's a really cold world. If you guys want a makeup tutorial on this look, comment below. But I told my brother to talk with me in this video and he doesn't want to I'm sure it brings back memories I'm sure um I don't know he said it was boring but I know to you guys and if you're my age and you have little brothers that are out in the streets don't let them it's not keep them keep them home safe that's the best you can do just keep them home safe Every time my brother wants to go somewhere, I'm dropping him off. I don't let him walk anywhere. It's scary. It really is scary. I should smudge him a little, huh? I'm all happy. Why are you guys? Don't open okay, okay. this. This is YouTube, my YouTube channel. Okay, guys, this is my brother. <laughs> I know we don't look alike. We have different moms yeah, and dads. Different moms and dads. This is Alicia, my sister-in-law. Introduce yourself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm all just, <laughs> I'm all just thinking of myself with the mirror shit. Come on, babe. Um, So, my name is Alicia. I am Clarissa's sister-in-law. Why? Huh? Why? Well, you dang, I know you're my girlfriend, you're my boyfriend, like... Your turn. Uh, my name is Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why are you getting shy? <laughs> He's scared. <laughs> is this how you're gonna get when we start YouTube or what? I don't, yeah, I don't know what Look how ready he is. <laughs> Go. <laughs> uh, okay, where was I? <laughs> the camera's that way, not this way. <laughs> this is his first time being on camera. Uh, not for myself yet. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares where you're from. <laughs> oh my god. Um, my sister wanted us to start on her YouTube video, so we're right here just chilling. <laughs> Come to visit the fam. We Whoa. have a YouTube channel upcoming this year, J Family. <laughs> Uh, if you guys want to go follow, <laughs> follow. You don't even know the channel yet. You don't even have a channel yet, so follow what? What do you think you follow? Fo follow, follow us. When Stay we tuned, you guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is their practice day. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yeah, that's them. Peace out. Um, I have to give a shout out to all the people who 
shouted me out on the Sins May Boutique post. So here it is. Shout out to Jasmine De La Torre. I think I, I think I said that right. I'm not sure. Shout out to Anna G. Shout out to Jalisa, Elijah Lopez, Alyssa, Princess Alyssa, my one and only. Shout out to Savannah Chavez, girl. Thank you. Shout out to XOXO Reyna. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you. And I don't know how to say this next person, but I'm just going to spell it out. G-R-I-J-A-L-V-A-J-U-D-E. Shout out to you. <laughs> Shout out to Giselle Zavala. Shout out to Richard Chavez. Thank you. Shout out to Baby Bale and shout out to Filthy Drea. Thank you so much for commenting my name. I appreciate it so much. And I know I can count on you guys if I want to tag. So, alright guys.